three, two, one. Hello everyone, Jackie Ding here. Welcome to Grid Life Again, Chicago, with my baby, with the 886. Uh, it, in the time between, you saw your last 86 video, which is probably the Lime Rock, where we were sideways everywhere, but somehow managed to group B win, to now, the 86 has seen a whole world of change. Everything, everything, front and rear, everything got changed. And somehow it drives worse, but we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how. But first off, we realized the rear damper was really wrong because what happened was they sent, uh, 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 our friends Annex sent us a set of 886 dampers. The problem is having to chop the car like three inches and drop the car three inches to make the white body look good has meant our rear dampers were entirely bottomed out. Alex found out that the uh, before the helper springs are fully compressed, the rear bump stop is already in effect. Yeah, I wonder who's, who's blamed. It, it was my fault. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted it to look good. And it, it looks badass. Don't get me wrong, it looks fucking badass. But the problem is, that means I basically had a extremely stiff rear end. No wonder why when I went from eight kilo to six kilo to seven kilo rear springs, I didn't do anything to the car. Uh, not only that, so we fixed that issue, but then we realized the sway bar, the rear sway bar is actually ramming into the panhar bar, which means at a certain suspension compression, the sway bar just became rate, like had just had an infinite rear spring rate. And so again, made the rear super stiff. And so we had to fix all of that. We dropped the rear spray bar mount by like, a, like another two inches. And then we realized on the front, thanks to our friend over at Battle Garage and Annex, Grant so told us that the front sway bar on the A86 usually doesn't work because the A86 chassis flexes so much that when the sway bars are supposed to twist each other, it's actually twisting the chassis instead of twisting each other. So we built a whole new front structure, front reinforcement tying into the chassis, tying into the sway bar mounts. So now the front uh, deflects a whole lot less. But what all of that means is the car is still just as slidey on corner exit and somehow it doesn't turn in as well. And I don't understand. All I wanted to do was be able to let, let this car put some freaking power down. We fixed everything and somehow it still doesn't put power down and yet it just understeers more on the way in. So it, the, this car has been making me want to like just, just, you know, stab myself in the stomach over and over and over. But today we're going to throw on my Hail Mary, I, I've decided, you know, that's it. I'm done with a Falcon RT660. I think the tire is probably just, Falcon's not looking. It's probably sh There goes a potential sponsorship opportunity. I, ask anybody in GLTC, ask them, ask any of them. Anyway, we've gone to, this is not sponsored by the way, but, this, but, but I spent my hard earned dollar for this. We've gone to Nexen, the M Ferris Sport R, uh, because apparently these tires are allowed in GLTC. But because last season they were so good, this year they've been given a 3% penalty, which means if you run these tires, your minimum weight goes up by 3% or you have to run 3% less power. That would be an issue, except the car's been actually 4% overweight this entire time because I couldn't get it down because we didn't have our fiberglass hood or our, fi or our fiberglass trunk in time. Positive mindset, the car's going to be good. The car with these tires should be better. And I hopefully, I'm going to have a good time in GLTC. We're not going to get door checked. It's going to look, it's going to leave here looking as pretty as it's always been. And we'll be happy. Maybe, just maybe, all of my fixes, please, please let it do something.
Very smart.
that's it. That's not only done for this car for this weekend. I think I'm done for it with a with a whole season. Um, debut season with the A86 here at Great Life Touring Cup went well. Overall, big positive. I mean, I'm here racing a car of my dreams, my own A86 touring car. Had many issues, but many of them are getting fixed, which is freaking awesome. Handling, God. For the, you saw, for the first time all season, I'm actually driving the car how I want to. It maybe has a little bit too much mid-corner understeer in some spots, but like, we'll work on that. I mean, we dialed out the uh, insane oversteer that was kind of just hurting us like crazy. And now we get to work on, you know, fine-tuning things. We say we're gonna fine-tune things. I'm gonna tear this whole car apart. Uh, and you may ask why, why would you do that? Finally, the car is working well. Well, first off, it's not. I've already spoken to the ASM guys. We're gonna get a new engine because uh, I think this one is smoked. It probably is smoked. It may be fine. We're gonna rebuild this one and then this one will probably act as a spare. And I'm gonna get a, just get a fresh new motor because uh, this one has seen water temps of like 230, 240 consistently and it probably won't last that much longer. Honestly, that whole race, it was freaking misfiring. It was just popping and banging. It was stumbling. It was not getting into VTEC. There was oil light. I don't know what it was. It was just very unhappy. It was deeply, deeply unhappy. I mean, we got out dragged to the line because the engine misfired because we were, well, that, that Integra was also really, really fast. Two, we're gonna tear the whole chassis down. We're gonna do some more chassis fab. Uh, I think there are things we can do to make the car better. Extra reinforce the front, change some reinforcements in the back, cut away some stuff from factory and make it better. Three, I'm going to go for a cambered axle setup. That's coming soon. Uh, I want to get, be able to add some alignment in the back so it's not just zero camber all the way around in the back and slide for days. If I can trust the rear axle and lean on it even harder. This weekend was freaking already pretty freaking awesome, but if I, if I have even more rear grip, that would be great because then I can make the front dive into corners even better. Four, maybe aero. We'll look into aero. Uh, five, cooling. The entire cooling package will be different. Uh, so radiator, ducting, hood, everything's gonna be different. Weight reduction. I've got weight reduction coming. We've got a new trunk come on the way. We got the new fiberglass hood on the way. Seven, I might even change the wheels. These wheels look awesome. I'm going to forever keep them. Nobody's ever gonna buy my 15 by 10 Titan seven three pieces from me, but I'm gonna maybe run some 17 by 10s just so I can one, fill the wheel gap and fix my gear ratio. Two, have even bigger contact patches so I have even more grip in the 8.6. The list goes on and on and on and on. I'm skipping the rest of the season, which is like only like two, three events anyway. But if I can skip the rest of the season, save a little bit of money, I'm going to go on a really light diet of eating nothing but like, I guess just white rice for the next, I don't know, six months. I'm gonna build this, make this into one of the most badass 8.6s out there. It won't be the most badass because the Chia is building the Super 8.6 and that thing is crazy. I wish this can be that, but I don't have impulse. I don't have like 200 grand. I just, I wanna be able to solve all of these issues once and for all. So next season, we'll come out swinging. I think this weekend my goal was to get in the top 15. We didn't quite do that. Uh, we finished 23rd, DQ, DNF, and 20th. Most importantly, this car is making upward trajectory. Like you saw, the car was finally driving how I wanted to. If the engine was fixed, if we have a little bit more tall steel, which we're gonna try and figure out, if we figure out the straight line speed, if we figure out the brakes, if we figure out the rear grip, this car will go places and we will go there together. Thank you all so much for watching. Say goodbye to the little 86 for now. We're gonna tear it down, we're gonna rebuild the whole thing, and I'm going to take you guys with me. But for now, the rest of the season, we're gonna focus on the M2, make this thing absolutely killer. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm from PHE Racing. See you all next time.